What's up guys, welcome to Top Phone for you. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how you can downgrade your tablet or phone without the use of uh, a computer or using a high suit. So here's uh, a fix for you. Uh, keep watching and then uh, you should be able to uh, downgrade your tablet and uh, get Google services installed. So uh, to get started, uh, the first thing you need to do, just uh, you need to find the firmware online. There is a, a, a link. Uh, most of them, uh, they uh, you have to pay uh, to get the firmware, depending on what uh, tablet or phone you have. For uh, a little link, you can get the one for the MacPad Pro in the description. So where you can just get yours downloaded and you don't have to pay anything above. As you can see there, I've already have uh, Google Play services working, Google Play Store. And you no know, errors, everything seems to be working fine. And uh, if I show you the settings. About. So uh, it's running the latest version 10.1.0.180. And uh, this is the model number. So uh, you need to, uh, before you look for your firmware version, you need to make sure you take a note of that number after the build number C432E, which is uh, the, um, the region code for your tablet. The firmware must be of the same region as the one you want to downgrade, otherwise you might end up having some issues and uh, you, you might damage your system, you won't be able to boot up. So we'll just make sure uh, you go on to about and make sure you take note of that number there, this C432E. So that's uh, the one we'll be looking for and then the build number will be next to it. Let's uh, open uh, the internet. And we're just gonna go to the XDA forum. So open uh, the first link. There we go. So uh, we are here now. Just uh, search for Google Fire. Okay. And the first one, uh, just tap on the Google Fire and then scroll all the way to the bottom. Keep going down. This is uh, to download. Uh, the firmware for this tablet there is a few firmware on this uh, link i keep going down you will see the firmware version download they go firmware download and all the credit go to bender 007 he's the one who works uh, the uh, uh, Google uh, Fire, so uh, thanks to him, we were able to install Google Play Store on these tablets and uh, make things a lot easier for everyone. Just uh, scroll down, you'll see the model there. Make sure you find the one uh, corresponding to your device. So I'm just gonna go down. There you go. So I've got the MacPad Pro, as you can see there. So the version I have here is 10.1.0.1.20. And that number, as I showed you before, it is here. So all you need to do, just uh, tap on download, and then it will take you to the mega.nz link to download it. And then from there, you just tap on download and then it will download the firmware for you. If your firmware is not on that list, uh, you have to go on to uh, easy firmware, but you have to pay to get uh, the firmware for your device. I'm not gonna download it because I've already downloaded it onto the tablet. Since we're not using a computer, we're just gonna uh, downgrade using the uh, USB C adapter with a, I've got a USB storage. So I'm just gonna plug it in because we have to use an external storage. We cannot use the internal to flash the, the device. So I'm just gonna plug this in. When I open file and the internal download, 
and then if I check the browser that file I downloaded it will be there I just need uh, to plug this in so once it's plugged in so I'm just gonna go back to that um, where I downloaded that file tap and hold and then more extractor and then ok then wait until uh, it's uh, fully extracted this works for the uh, metpad pro and uh, if your tablet or your phone was released before april 2020 you got more chance of installing um, google play services um, and if your tablet is newer like the metpad 10.4 then uh, there is no option to get Google service working on that tablet at the moment and then uh, copy this uh, folder and then other location choose the internal storage and then paste it here which will copy everything over to the uh, external storage Okay, uh, that uh, has now uh, copied across, so uh, now all we have to do is just uh, put the tablet into recovery mode and uh, restart the downgrade. Please make sure before you start this uh, next process, you back up all your stuff, all your files and pictures and video because uh, everything will be wiped off. So I'm just going to switch off the tablet. Okay, that has been uh, switched off now. Well, um, this tablet to put it into recovery, I need to uh, plug in a USB C power uh, and then uh, press the volume up while plugging the USB C, which will put it into recovery. Some devices you need to press the power and uh, the uh, volume up. Um, to put it into recovery mode uh, others you need to press the volume down and uh, some you need to press both it depends that uh, different devices has a uh, different option to put it into recovery mode so but you can search uh, depending on your model uh, on YouTube it will show you how you can put it into recovery mode so I'm just gonna press the volume up and then uh, plug the power lead in which would uh, put the tablet straight into recovery mode. Then let's go. There you go. Now we are into recovery mode. I'll plug the USB C adapter back in. Okay, that's uh, it's now plugged in. So all we need to do just uh, go into update mode and then uh, tap on the memory card OTG update mode, which it will search for the where I copied over and then it will start the downgrade so I'm just gonna tap on that so uh, it's uh, verifying the update so I'm just gonna pause the video and then uh, once it's completed I'll uh, come back and show you how you can start the process and install in Google services so now we're installing the uh, firmware That's now uh, completed the install, so the tablet will uh, restart.
Okay, that uh, has uh, come back on. I'm just going to check uh, the firmware. As you can see there, it's come back to 10, 1, 120. So uh, the next step, I'm just going to connect it to the Wi-Fi and uh, show you how you can uh, install the uh, Google services. Okay, that's uh, now uh, connected. So I'm just going to open the browser. And I'll do next. Agree. Now, and now. I'll say later. Then I'm just going to YouTube. And just say. And then we're going to this uh, video. What I need, I just need uh, to get the link to download uh, Google Fire and tap on download then download. Uh, that's now downloading Google Fire as you can see there. That has now uh, finished uh, downloading. You just uh, do allow and then uh, install. Okay, done. So I'm just gonna go onto the main screen now. And then uh, I've got Google Fire there. So I'm just gonna open it up. Just gonna put the same portrait. And then next, 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 next. Let's go and allow, allow. Okay, so uh, just tap on the backup, then it will ask you to change the date. Switch that off, change the date back to 2019. Okay, and then go back, and then tap the backup again. Okay, and then okay there. Allow, then install. So that has been installed, then just tap done. Then next, agree. Then tap on the three dots on the top. Restore from internal storage. Tap on the Huawei iPad. Then restore, and the password is there. Bender 007 and then OK and then restore has uh, completed so just uh, swipe back and now run the G app and then allow and then activate and allow and then tap on the blue arrow and then uh, swipe up and then go back onto Google Fire and uh, proceed uh, the next step uh, i've done uh, a few video how you can uh, proceed from here so uh, click on the link above here yeah to proceed and install google services and then once you install google services i'll leave a link in the description as well and then which will take you to my other video taking you showing you from here how you can install google services and uh, everything should be working now um, because uh, the when you have a newer firmware the only issue it won't allow you activate the G the LZ play but once you activated the LZ player all the step will be the same and uh, you'll be able to uh, install the Google services so uh, once you have uh, Google services up and running feel free to um, uh, install the, the latest uh, EMUI version and you can remove uh, both uh, LZ Play and uh, Google Fire and Google services will still work fine. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and if you did, uh, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friend and um, don't forget if you're new to my channel um, to subscribe and enable notification for my latest video. As soon as I find out a way you can install uh, Google services onto the Huawei MatePad 10.4, I'll make another video. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. Keep safe 
and uh, I'll see you on the next one.